Okay, folks, just when you think you're getting close to the end, you create a list. And that's what we're going over in this episode. So stay tuned. So some of the things that we've got to finish up on Dale uh, with regards to getting it finished, or at least when I say finished in drivable condition again. I went through uh, just a little while ago, walked around the truck, made a list of everything that I know of, and I'm sure I'll be able to add to it on things that uh, we're going to basically have to finish up before we can drive it again. So let's go over that list right quick. We're not going to waste a lot of time on that, and we are going to cross a few things off even tonight in this video. So the left rear brake line that I accidentally hit with the grinder when I was cutting off the U-bolts, we'll have to tackle that. I did order some stock rear spring shackles to help bring that frame up a little bit, which is basically gonna help level out the truck and uh, bring the ride height up a little bit so that when we put the box on, uh, it'll sit level. And the, putting the box on is actually on the list as well. Uh, the vent tube for the differential, we took that off uh, its mounting position, so we'll have to remount that as well as the uh, brake lines along the frame. We'll have to remount those one more time, uh, make sure that those are fastened up. The gas tank, we've got to install the gas tank, and I also cut the ground uh, when I removed the gas tank, so we'll have to install a new ground on that sending unit. Patch the hole in the floor. Now, if you remember back one of the very first episodes when we started taking everything apart in Dale, uh, there was a small little hole in the corner or right below where the seat mounts. Uh, that we'll have to patch that up. We'll do that while we get the welder here as well. Uh, tighten the spring bolts. So front and rear, I don't have them tight uh, because you're supposed to let the vehicle settle on the ground under its own weight before you do that. So part of that is going to be getting the new spring shackles on, getting the box on, getting the fuel tank, get all the stock weight back on the vehicle, and then tighten those up. Same with the control arms, up front, lower, and upper. I didn't tighten up those control arm bolts. Again, you're supposed to let the vehicle sit on its own weight uh, before you tighten those up. So that is on the list as well. Uh, tie rods, inner, outer, idler, and pitman. Uh, those are all parts I still have on the bench that I think I would just sooner do when the vehicle is up on the hoist so I can kind of stand there and do it as opposed to be lying on the creeper. Uh, things are so much easier with the hoist, so before we do... Uh, the alignment we'll get those put on and then we'll be able to send that to the alignment shop which again is on the list uh, grease the front end the front left lower fender bolt i took that out when i was doing some body work so we got to put that back in reinstall the doors that's an obvious one coil springs and i got cut question mark and the reason why i put cut question mark is because once we get the box back on and the thing sitting on stock height uh, then we'll determine whether or not we're going to take a coil out of the front coil springs to get that down lower, or maybe the way it's sitting is going to be just fine. We've also got the exhaust, which is a project we'll be working on this weekend. So as you're watching this, I'm probably out in the garage recording doing the exhaust on Dale, and then we'll be able to do a first start with the new exhaust uh, and uh, hopefully... Uh, get the sound that we want out of these mufflers that came with this kit. If not, well, we'll always have to go back to the drawing board and get some new mufflers. Uh, already said bed installed, but we got the bumper and the tail lights as well. So the thing that I did not mention that is on the list uh, is the upper control arms. In one of my last videos, you saw that when I went to install it, it did not fit. Uh, the ball joint was too big. Uh, I contacted Rock Auto and they just said, you know, send it back and we'll send you another one. Well, I just don't want to take the chance of sending that one back, getting another set that's doing the exact same thing. I'm in the same boat. And, you know, you're talking a two-week turnaround by the time I send the old one back and they send me the new ones, blah, blah, blah. So what I did was where I got all my other parts, I just ordered the upper ball joints uh, to go on to the new control arms and these were only $15 and change in my cost. So uh, again, lifetime warranty, and I'll just take them out. That's what we're gonna be doing tonight. Out of the new control arms, we'll put these ones in, but first we've gotta take a wheel off and make sure this is gonna fit in the upper spindle uh, hole uh, before we go too far. So having said all of that, let's get the wheel off and try this in the spindle and make sure it's gonna fit. If it does, 
we'll replace the upper ball joints on those new control arms and then I'll be able to get those installed and kind of put the button on uh, the front end. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we've got the upper control arm out of the spindle, or the ball joint out of the spindle, we'll try this new one and see if she gonna fit. Yep, it do. So the plan is now is we'll grab those new control arms and we'll remove the ball joint that's in it and replace it with this one here. So let's take it back over to the bench and uh, get those put together. Okay, so we've got our half inch nuts and bolts here. We're gonna take those off. It's a pretty simple replacement and uh, we'll replace it with the new one and all the hardware that comes with it. All right, so we've got this one in. And one thing that I want to point out that I guess I really didn't pay much attention to is I had mentioned on my list that we're going to have to reroute the brake line because it was pulling too tight. Well, this is a new bracket, I assume, for that mount. So when we put this on, we'll try it, see if that fits on there. And as you can see, it still has the old location here. So this is an add-on to help give you uh, to take out some of that slack in the brake hose. So. This one's ready to roll. I'm going to go do the other one and uh, we'll see if we can get them swapped out tonight. And there we have it once again. The new upper control arms with the right ball joints are now in stock and everything is back on the ground one more time. We can come over to our list and cross off, replace the upper ball joints. So we got one down and well, several more to go and we will tackle these in a timely fashion. And if any of you guys are out there looking for stock spindles and upper control arms and some two inch drop coils, well, hit me up. Here they are, free for the taking. So like I said guys, the first thing is crossed off the list. We've got many more to go and uh, the exhaust is the next project that we're going to tackle here on Project Dale. So once again, we'll have to get the whole thing up in the air and lay everything out, make sure that we've got what we need to install it. So that'll be the next video, I think. Don't quote me on that. Keep in mind, that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show this week is going to be on my channel, and it's going to be a regular show with no guests, and I hope that you guys can tune in at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, uh, for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show with myself and Grant Tommy. His link is right here, as well as the second link in the description box below. The first link in the description box is the merch store for Old Car Auto Guy. If you want to get your very own Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt, there's two or three to choose from. Uh, sweatshirts, hoodies, all that sort of thing. And that will help support my channel so that we can continue doing stuff like this on Project Dale. Guys, also, thank you so much for everything that you're doing. With all those thumbs up, everyone's commenting down in the comment box down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. And you can follow along with other builds, not just Dale. Chrysler Cordoba, as well as Project Grandma, my 04 Grand Marquis. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.